This is a review of the virtual art museum assignment. Uh, this is a teacher view of what it looks like in Google Classrooms. So you can see that I have different, um, I have the Virtual Art Museum Google Slides template for you, um, information about all the assignments that were due at the end of the school year, and of course the website that we were working with. Right. So, but my focus is on this virtual art museum, uh, Google Slides. Um, I believe it will make you a copy. There should be one for you, but in case it's not, you would actually just go to file, make a copy, entire presentation, right? I already did this. It also helps out if my name, have my name in the assignment. So I'm gonna put my name in my class period. All right, okay, so um, here's the first slide. You don't have to do anything to this. The second slide, you're going to put your name. And then you're going to put a photo of your artist here. I pick Diego Rivera. Okay. And let me find a picture of him. So let's see, I'm going to, I can click the box or not. It doesn't really seem to make a difference as to where it drops the picture, but I'm gonna go to, I can pick something from my computer. I can search the web. Maybe I have something in my drive already, um, but I'm gonna search my the web because I don't have pictures. Oh, I just accidentally did that. Okay, where is it? Insert, search the web. So I just want a photo of him. So it could be this, it could be a self portrait. There's a lot of options here. So I'm gonna pick this one. If there isn't a photo of your artist, you might be able to use a self portrait that the artist drew, painted, sculpted, whatever. Um, so do your best with that. If you can't find anything, just let me know. Okay. And I am going to describe why I chose this artist, which you already answered in one of the previous assignments. So I could just copy and paste that or rewrite it, maybe a little nicer, blah, 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 blah right in here, okay? And then on the next slide, this is your art museum. So again, I need to put the name of the artist. And ideally, this slide and the following ones would end up in a collection that would actually look more like an art museum, like a, a Google slide art museum. But with time, we're just going to get ours done. Okay. So you have some options here. You have some uh, wall space for paintings, drawings, anything flat, um, two-dimensional. We also have pedestals. So you can do a combination of both or you can pick one or the other. So um, uh, Diego Rivera was mainly a muralist and painter, so I'm gonna use the wall space. I don't need this. So I can just click on it and then delete, and it will go away. So there's no reason to have a pedestal there if I don't need it. Okay. But I'm gonna show you how to put things on the pedestal and make more of them in just a moment. All right, so my first painting is the flower seller, and you should already have at least two artworks that you've talked about from the previous writing. So really you're just moving the information here and just making it a little easier for someone to read. All right, so I am going to search the web and I'm just gonna put flower after that. It'll probably come up. There we are, some really beautiful ones. So I'm gonna take this one insert and it's just going to drop it in there i'm not going to be able to tweak the sides um, like these are in fact if i want to i can just click on that delete and i'm just going to move this over here make it a little smaller so it's not so silly looking in that space move it over okay all right so we got that now I'm going to go on to the next slide because that is artifact one. The next slide, I'm going to put the title of the piece. 
and then put the piece here. So again, I can click on the, the frame. Wait, there it is, insert. Search web. Come there we go. But it's not going to drop it in there. I haven't figured out how to do that one. I'm not sure if it's even an option with Google. So I'm just going to move it and grab the corner and make it a little bit larger so it fits in that space. And then I'm going to describe what's happening in the painting, a little bit about it. Okay. It doesn't have to be crazy amounts, but, you know, get a few sentences in there. So it shouldn't, uh, it should be something that tells us about the artist and the painting. So if you write something like, um, girl with flowers is in dark space, like that's, that's not very um, informative. We can see that. So maybe you can tell us about why um, Diego Rivera um, used this subject. Um, maybe that he's well known for them, these different paintings. How many different types of flower seller paintings has he done? Um, why are they popular? And so on. Okay. And then we go to the second one, right? Well, you may not want any paintings. You may only want uh, sculptures on pedestals or a sculpture in the corner. Maybe it doesn't quite fit on a pedestal because it's like a big piece. Um, so I can actually delete these if I don't want them. That's up to me. I'm just clicking on the frame and then clicking delete. Okay, but now I have this pedestal. So I can go to edit and I can copy it, so which is control C. And then I want to click off the frame because if I click in the frame, I'm going to end up clicking like all these parts that is part of the design. So I'm going to click off the frame and then it's control V or paste. Right? So I can make as many of these as I want. You only need to have three, three pieces of art that you are talking about. So maybe I'm going to put a big sculpture in the back and I'm going to put two sculptures on the pedestal. Now, Diego Rivera is known for a couple of sculptures, but not that many. I tried to find some and um, it just was not, there weren't any really good pictures. They have sculptures on their property in Mexico. So instead, what I'm going to do is I am, actually, let me click over here. I'm going to insert something different just to show you how it works. And you can, you can insert from your, your drive, um, your computer. Um, it doesn't have to be straight from the internet. So I'm just going to put sculpture to make it easy on us. Ooh, all right. Um, so try to find a picture of the entire sculpture if possible. Here's a good one. Okay, I'm going to try that. That's going to go on a pedestal. Come on. Oh, it's so big. Now, I don't want all this background, but I really can't. I mean, I could go and photo shoot and photo shoot, Photoshop and make it all fancy, but I'm not going to. So if I double click on it, I get these black lines and these black lines will allow me to crop it in. So you don't see so much of the background. So at least that's helpful. And I want to put it on a pedestal. So I'm going to make it small enough to fit on the pedestal. Okay. And then I would go, and so this would be artifact number number one. And so I would have had to take this. So title, yeah, there we go. I put the title of the art piece. I don't know the title of that art piece, so I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. And then I'm going to go back to it. Come on. Nope. Let's try it again. There we go. Insert. So because I want that piece here, okay, right there, and then I would talk about it. So that's basically how you deal with the pedestals. Now, if I want this piece to be large in the background, not on a pedestal, because maybe that's not appropriate for it, then I could just Put it in the back of the room or to the side. Yes, it's not perfect, but it's really the best we can do with this template. Okay. And then for each artifact, you're going to put the title and then you are going to put a picture of it here 
and put the text uh, information about the piece here. Okay. And that's it. You turn in the whole slideshow and you let me know if you have any questions. All right.